vulnerability to defend What's up everyone? My name is Sir Herg1 and today I have some Brink gameplay for you. A lot of you have been requesting for me to upload some Brink gameplay and uh Brink really in my opinion is a is a fun game. It's really fun to play and uh it's really just saddening that the multiplayer had to kind of fail in this in this game. Um, I, I still think that I've never had as much fun in a shooting game as I have had in Brink. Uh, just the intense parkour and the, the how fast-paced the game can be sometimes. I've never really had as much fun in any other shooter than I have in Brink. But that is not not to the point that I'm going to say and conclude, I guess. So, um... Basically, uh, right here you see that I am doing a, uh, what, what do you call it, like a mini game sort of thing, or, or, a, or an objective, or, I, f I forgot what it's called, but this is the, uh, tower defense mini mode thingy, objective thing, I, I don't know, Cor correct me in the comments on what it is, my mind just ran blank, and, uh, yeah, the reason behind me doing one of these stuff and not playing an actual mini game, I mean, I mean uh, an actual multiplayer mode would be that I tried hopping onto a couple of multiplayer servers and the servers in this game really aren't that good and they tend to sustain extreme lag so I was not able to get smooth multiplayer footage so I just decided to hop into one of these and record it and uh... I, I didn't do the best, I haven't played Brink in a while, but it was it's still made for some entertaining gameplay, as for me. I haven't seen too many Brink videos, uh, whatever Brink videos I've seen are just mine that I've got off myself, so I hope you enjoy this, but th that is not at the point I am. Um, oh, and also one more thing, I uh, right now I'm actually testing out the real Smart Motion Blur plugin on Brink. I don't really know what it looks like, so... If the gameplay looks a little awkward to you, with an extensive amount of motion blur, just keep in mind that I'm using the plugin on Brink and I've never really tried it out before. It, it's kind of weird because the game itself has motion blur, but I just thought the motion blur was enough and I wanted more motion blur, but I don't know how that came out. So a lot of stuff have been going on and one of the big things that are going to occur during the summer is a uh, Right now, this is Saturday, and whoa, whoa, no, it's actually Sunday. It's 12:10 as I'm recording this commentary, and uh, t tomorrow, I, on Monday, I will be leaving for Texas. Now, it's a funny story about Texas. My parents came to me. They're like, "Hey, we're gonna go to Texas." I'm like, "Sweet, I, I've always wanted to go to Texas. You know, it's a really cool place. We have some family up in Texas from my dad's side, some nice Romanian family." fellows and uh, you know really nice people I've, I've met them a couple times before actually once before and uh, you know he told me my dad explained to me the date of which we were gonna go to Texas and and I just remembered wait a second that's the same date QuakeCon occurs you know I mean it's the day we're heading back uh, we the day the day that we're leaving is when QuakeCon starts so I'm like hey do you think we can make it a QuakeCon? I've always wanted to go, you know, we were planning to go 2010, but that didn't work out. Do you think we can make it this year? And my dad's like, yeah, sure. So, if plans don't change, I will be going to QuakeCon, and I am super stoked to go to QuakeCon. Quake is probably my favorite franchise I've ever played, excluding Final Fantasy, but, um... Yeah, Quake uh, is probably my favorite game series ever, and it's a really big privilege to be able to partake in such an event, especially QuakeCon, being the world record for the world's largest bring your own computer convention. Now, Brink gameplay was also, uh, I also uploaded Brink gameplay because it's slightly related to QuakeCon in that Bethsaida being, see I'm, I'm finally saying Bethsaida right, in my previous video I didn't say it quite right, but Bethsaida mixed with id tech and uh, you know, they're gonna have a Brink tournament at QuakeCon. I'm just gonna bring my laptop, probably install uh, Quake 3 Arena. Uh, okay, look, don't ask me why I'm not installing Quake Live. I like Quake 3 Arena more than Quake Live. That's just my opinion. Because of the blood. No, I'm just kidding. It's classic. And uh, and they're also having a Brink tournament, so I'm gonna install Brink on the laptop and just play it. And it'll be a lot of fun. I'm really looking forward to it. 
Now, um, ah, oh, I think my Skype thingy is messaging me. So, yes, I will be going to QuakeCon. That's one thing that's going on in my life. And while I'm going to QuakeCon, I will obviously not be able to upload videos for quite a while. It would be a three-week period of time where I will be away from my computer and inactive on YouTube. However, my YouTube channel will not be inactive for... I will be having Trevor from Trevor's Games uh, in charge of my YouTube channel while I'm gone. He will be uploading some fairly interesting videos for you to keep you, to keep you all entertained. And uh, I, I'm really excited to see what he has to come up with for you guys. And uh, it's, it's going to be really cool. I'm, I'm also going to probably have Felipe 1020 upload a video if he's able to. I'll be, I'll be talking to him about that. And uh, I'm just really excited to see what kind of content these guys will be able to pr produce for you. And it's really just going to be a nice twist. And I hope you guys enjoy all the upcoming stuff that's going to happen. I'm sure it's going to be fun. All the new videos you're going to be seeing. All the new content. And uh, there's a funny fail that I wanted to tell you for the rem remainder of this video. It's... It's kind of a fail. You guys might laugh or giggle, but I definitely uh, had a slash sad face JPEG when this happened. So basically, I I recently bought Assassin's Creed Brotherhood on the PSN um, off of the for download, and uh, I was talking to Trevor from Trevor's Games, and I was telling him, you know, hey, you can download Brotherhood off of my account if you want. I know that you might want to play it. So I told him my account information, and uh, when he tried to log in, apparently there are already five P uh, PS3s logged into my account. And if you don't know, five PS3s is the limit that you're able to have uh, logged into one single account. So I, I really don't remember giving it out to that many people. I only remember giving it out to three people. So whoever the fifth mysterious man was I do not know but uh, I tried to contact the people who had who had my PlayStation Network account but they were unable to deactivate their ps3s at the moment because they were all gone so I was like you know what I'll just deactivate my ps3 until it's finished downloading for him and then I will log back in and it'll be something like that now how I deactivated it was frankly silly at the time I didn't know how to do it so I hopped on my ps3 and I deleted my account, N not my PSN account, but my user account. So it, it left a message saying, "Careful, your messages and trophies will be deleted if you do this." I'm like, "Oh, why? I I, I don't care about trophies. I'm not a competitive console gamer." But apparently, not only did it delete that stuff, it also deleted all my save states. So all the RPGs I've invested time into, completely gone. Everything just gone. Just all my games gone I have to start all over again and my little brother is was frankly quite sad about this as well he just beat infamous 2 and brotherhood and a bunch of other games and he's been spending a lot of time in oblivion and everything's just gone and I'm really sad about this perhaps if there is any way to fix this I know that it's quite an arduous task to do so but if so that would be really sweet but as for now I am stuck with absolutely nothing at all, and I am frankly very sad about it, and I have no clue how I died there, perhaps I ran into a grenade, but here we are closing to the end of the video, pro perhaps the last minute, and uh, overall I'm frankly happy to go to QuakeCon, I'm excited to see what's going to go on with the new content being uploaded, and thank you, oh yeah, I, I lost, so what, if I lost. It was a harder level mission, and I just did it for fun. But I hope you under I hope you enjoyed this video. Just see some of my shooting skills, and I will see you all later. Goodbye.